the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Teenage Defenders of Earth. The Power Rangers are driven by the power of the ancient dinosaurs. Lately, evil space aliens have become a real safety hazard. Earth's only hope, the Power Rangers. Oh yeah? No one can stop us. Just let them try. Okay. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, too hot to handle. It's Megazord. When evil space aliens threaten Earth, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in their Dinozords morph to become the Megazord. The Megazord is part of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers ultimate battle system. Hey, I thought you were driving. Me, I thought you were. <laughs> Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, too hot to handle. Megazord isn't powerful enough. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers summon Dragon Zord and Titanus, the motorized carrier Zord. They morph with Megazord to form the ultimate battle machine, Ultra Zord. Say, who's watching where we're going? Huh? Not me, I'm not. Uh oh. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, too hot to handle. YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Today we're going to be talking about Power Rangers once and always spoilers. So there's like an alleged leaker on this site, I think it's called Lipstick Alley, that says that like somebody they know worked on the special, so they got the inside scoop on the plot. It's made its rounds on the forums. I'm gonna pull up my phone here in a second and just read it quietly and you can just watch me reacting to it, because I think that's all you could probably handle. That's pretty much how reaction videos go. I think it's like, <laughs> just make I am going to be checking out my phone here though. I'll put up some pictures, but let's talk about these. As always with any type of spoilers or rumors, take with a grain of salt. This guy could be full of shirt. It could be true. I think it's just fun and interesting to talk about, especially the developments in here. So just keep in mind, it might, true, might be true, it might not be, but we're just discussing it for the fun of it. So let's get started, shall we? All right, so I'll probably put up some pictures so you don't have to just look at me looking down the whole time. I'll try to look like, like I'm trying to like sneak it. Like, Anyway, let's just get started. Okay, Zordon is revived by the Morphin Masters. His tube in there, I think there's some pictures where we saw his tube there, so that makes sense. I'll talk about that more later. Lord Zed creates Ro Robot Rita with the help of Scrozzle, as many people have You know, that does kind of make sense as to why Scrozzle was brought back in Dino Fury, because he's pretty much the fister in the modern era of Power Rangers, right? So he created villains, he brought back the villains, he brought back Goldar, Maximus, and Beast Morphers. So it wouldn't surprise me if they actually show a scene when Sprouso and Lord Zed create a Rita. But at the same time, we really don't know what's gonna happen until the show comes out. But I wanna know where you and Ash and everybody else get this information from. I know you said lipstick something. If I did my own video on it, at the same time, we really don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just curious, just as everybody else says. So this one is very interesting. Uh, uh, where's Rita coming from video? Good thing I pushed that out before I talked about this. That sounded weird. I, sorry, I said push that out. Tommy, Jason, and Kimberly are kidnapped by the Mecha Rita, which is why they're not there. Um, it also says somewhere in there that the All She Shrinks them down along with Kendrix and TJ. I don't know why they're called out specifically in this. I don't know if there's a surprise cameo. I don't think so. I'm gonna imagine it's just seeing their little ranger keys or whatever, um, but I don't know, I'm just saying. Uh, the Moon Palace is back. Trini teleports to the Moon Palace and she dies battling Mecha Rita. Sounds very mm. much like what they did with Leia in a way, because remember how- Okay, so the part where he said that Trini teleports to her palace and she ends up dying in battle against Rita, so, if y'all remember a while back, there was some idiot on Twitter. I think his name was, well, I'm not gonna say his name, but you know, I don't wanna get into trouble, but still. He's known for starting a lot of mess on YouTube because the image I saw 
from a New Zealand website when the card was flipped over and it may have said something about Power Rangers production but a lot of people in the community assume that it was about Trini that she died in a car crash and people are they have poor taste that it was confirmed or anything and I basically had to explain to people on Twitter that what you see on the internet is not true at all and pretty much thanks to Simon Bennett pretty much debunked everything in terms of the car being flipped over it it had nothing to do with Trini at all it had nothing to do with Trini at all and so for the fact that people are already making assume that it was about her but it wasn't and that idiot who tried to start stuff on Twitter well on Twitter excuse me try to get everybody riled up for no apparent reason it really goes to show you that you think he has some problems or he's just being the troll for him to do something like that try to start something with the fandom try to screw things over that is so exciting for a lot of us to look forward to and wasn't always just to boost up his own ego but you cannot do that defeat Macarita and Kylo Ren could become good again I remember that from Red Skywalker you have Billy and Zack at the gravesite which is something we've seen with Trini's daughter months later yeah. Billy and Aisha are the ones to give the saber tooth coin to uh, Min uh, SPA is SPD's training facility so probably Space Patrol Academy I'm gonna assume um, Adam and Aisha run SPA as you can probably tell I just I honestly assumed they were uh, interns but it's whatever uh, command Center is rebuilt uh, years ago by Alpha 5. Uh, when they defeat her, they're going to seal Rita into a dumpster and uh, blast her into outer space. I don't know why they don't just blast her to pieces into outer space. She's a robot. We don't have to worry about killing her. She's not real. Uh, Lord, Zed gets some, uh, Lord Zed gets some sort of new machine megazord. Um, Z Zordon is going to enlist Billy to help the Cosmic Fury and Dino Rangers in space. Ooh. You've been back five minutes. Take a seat, Zordon. You don't even know who the players are. <laughs> and there's going to be a surprise cameo at the end by Kim, who appears on the viewing globe. Um, and then there's going to be a scene with the, at the end of the juice bar. The stuff that he's raining from that site, I don't think it's true. It's just somebody that wants to create reimagining the plot. I mean, the Netflix pretty much confirmed Tragedy Strucks is because of Trini, right? But it has nothing to do with the um, car crash or whatever. But this website called Lipstick Something truly said they did work with someone from once and always. They could have at least announced it on Twitter. But it's been nothing but new information about once and always. We clearly know the plot already. But the fact that you want to spoil something that possibly couldn't make sense i don't know i mean it sounds cool on paper but how was it going to play out in real life i wonder if they do a freeze frame so this all mostly sounds pretty decent to me it yeah. sounds, honestly this sounds fairly plausible if i'm being honest a lot of kind of what i would expect you know i do like the lord zed connection yeah i mentioned in my theory video i think it would be silly to not even mention it it would seem weird I mean, I didn't want this to be like super connected to it to the point where you felt like you were missing something if you didn't watch Dino Fury, but I feel like like not connecting it would be not only a missed opportunity, but it would make it feel like this weird disconnected thing in, an, in a franchise that already has disconnected continuity. So I think it was smart to include that bit and at least mention it. I don't know if Zed's going to appear just briefly or not, or if it's going to be an off-screen mention, but the fact that they're connecting it makes me happy. I also like the lead into Cosmic Fury with Billy. I think that's also very smart. I can yeah. almost guarantee that this thing is going to have more eyeballs on it than Cosmic Fury. So you're going to be having a lot of nostalgia fans checking this out, and you're going to probably inspire at least a quasi-decent chunk of them to want to- We'll be watching Cosmic Fury as well because it is a space theme season, right? So the fact that Billy is going to be focusing on many more stuff first for the nostalgia, but in a point of plot that makes sense, but him leaning into once and always, can you imagine towards the end of the special when either Solon, Zato, or even Amelia contacted Billy for help. Leave once and always special and you know on a cliffhanger. Think about how insane that would be. Cosmic Fury when it comes out, knowing that Billy's gonna be in it. That's honestly just smart marketing, good synergy for both the storytelling and the franchise marketing. So I'm happy with that. 
As far as Zordon being back, I feel like people are going to be mad about it being the Morphin Masters because they're being kind of used as a catch-all for a lot of things, and I can understand that. I'm more so just annoyed with him being back. I'm not the biggest Zordon fan, to be honest. I like him in the comics now, that he learned oh, that yeah. he used to be a douche. Oh yeah, he was way better in the comics than he but was in the show. I just, I don't know, it kind of undermines the whole sacrifice thing. I feel like there could have been different ways to go about it if they wanted to somehow include him in the special. You know, I, I kind of would prefer the idea of them looking on at the broken- Honestly, I think Zorna, like you said, is way better in the comics than he was on the TV show because Zorna was just misguiding the team like crazy. So I was watching the Multiverse YouTube channel. They're doing reactions on every Mighty Morphin episode from season one, episode one from 34, I believe. And doing the red hat i've got his name but he does not like zordon at all and i'm beginning to understand why because zordon has been misinformation and misleading the team most of the time you know his plans doesn't really make any sense but it was around episode 34 about the green candle saga when he actually mentored the team for the first time in god knows how long so Blame it on the Sentai. <laughs> you know, back to times where he gave him advice and you could have some sound bites, you know, like a voiceover of Zordon talking to each individual ranger and kind of have it that way and kind of have it more about the rangers, you know, acknowledging Zordon's defeat since they didn't really get to since they weren't there and then, you know, acknowledging that they have to move on without him. Um, I don't know. It's it's not something that's going to make me super mad in the long run. I do like that the Morphin Masters are there just because I think they're a cool lore beat that I think is cool they're going to appear here with some of the OGs. Uh, but I don't know, Zordon being back. I think mostly I'm happy with the way they're handling the Trini stuff. You know, it's, you can do it kind of one of two ways. You can, you know, have them sort of in there but not and, and have them go out in a heroic way in some sort, kind of like with Leia. Or you could have had her already been dead for a while or off screen, you know, just before this, like the lead. Hire an older lady who can play Trini, the character, as a mother to men and have her morph into the Yellow Ranger while she teleported to Rita's palace and fight Rita and have Robo Rita kill Trini as a way of going out in the battle instead of having her die in battle in war. showing up at the funeral. I think this is mostly a cool way to do it. It kind of has her going out as a hero, shows that she, um, you know, was a little more active as a ranger. Um, I think that mostly works out for me. I think I've always had issues with Many More for Power, which is the TV show, is the lack of parents and family moments in the show. We've always seen the teenagers and the rangers all the time, but we've never seen them with their actual families. Well, families, I mean. I mean, we've seen Kimberly's parents for the most part, you know, especially in season one and season three. But I'm talking like the Rangers having family connections with family members most of the time on the show. But the comics did it way better than the show. Like, it might not make a sense. So wouldn't it be cool if Trini's parents came to the funeral in honor of their daughter? Or maybe they could have found out that their daughter was a Power Ranger all this time, saving the world from evil. Her parents came to the funeral in the grave site along with Zach, Billy, and Min to honor the mother's legacy. Like, wouldn't it be cool if they actually did something like that? I'm just saying, but it's not really real or anything, but it's just imagination. It's just a food for thought. At the end, I think it's nice that they were able to film this little cameo beat with Amy Joan Johnson, if it's true. Um, I do, I think it would be funny if it was like, uh, remember when the Rangers left for the peace conference? Well, I guess it really was a peace conference in this dimension, but you know why they left in the behind the scenes reasons. And they showed, I think it was like archive footage of them waving or something, or archive footage of them leaving. It would be really funny if the Kimberly cameo was like archive footage of her from the show. Like, hey, look, it's Kimberly, and it's clearly like 90s Kim with like a ridiculous scrunchie. Uh, if that's true, I, I hope it's like, not confirmed, but I hope this is true just because I feel I've seen a lot of people hoping that JDF somehow secretly made a cameo. That's one thing that kind of bugs me about this as well because I keep explaining to people online that Jason David Frank had retired from Power Rangers last year because he wanted to move on, well, he wanted to move on from Power Rangers to focus on Legends of the White Dragon. Then he passed away in November 19th, which we all remember that last year. Amy Jo Johnson didn't want nothing to do with Power Rangers unless, quote unquote, 
the offer was really better. I mean, Power Rangers is owned by Hasbro now. They're pretty much on, you know, a union show. So they can pretty much bring back the old cast and do something special with them. So a lot of things with the art, um, with the website is saying it doesn't make any sense to me because Austin is not was just not in once and always. So them possibly doing the 90s thing in the viewing globe of Emil Joe Johnson making a cameo, which is kind of stupid to say the least. And I really don't want them to do that, but we all know that that's not true. Though the plot of Trini, the character sounds kind of cool and I like it a lot. But as far as like Kim and cameo, I don't believe that one bit. I don't. Anything, I don't think, I think I'm 99% sure there was no secret cameo based on what happened. But I've seen a lot of people that are thinking like, oh, it's like a no way home situation. And I feel like people are getting their hopes up. Um, and so that makes more sense. And I kind of hope that would squash that a little bit. Not that I wouldn't have wanted to see a surprise and that was all a ruse, but I just feel like people are getting their hopes up too much about that. And I think it's kind of a, a nice little note to end on. And I think that they, I, I do kind of hope in like a, a that they have the that freeze frame at the end when they all do the high five. I think that would be kind of yeah. Cool. I think they might do that in one thing always. Things gonna have a lot of little neat details and homages, like the whole you know sending Rita to space thing. Again, if, if it was like the actress, I'd be like, okay, they're probably not gonna blow up a human, but it's a robot. Just blow it up. I feel like that's a little bit too much. They don't use that CGI explosions like we've seen in Beast Morphers or Dino Fury because I'm getting tired of seeing that mess. I want to see some real explosions. I don't want to see no. TGI mess. You know, like, call me crazy for saying this, but I want to see some Michael Bay explosions in Power Rangers, especially when they're blowing the monsters and stuff when they defeat it. And then I'm willing to bet Robo Rita is going to appear in Cosmic Fury then. That's probably why they're doing it, in addition to, you know, obviously having that homage in there. Um, I really, we obviously kind of already knew this, and these leaks don't tell us a whole lot more. We might get some more details in there, but I just do like the general inclusion of the SPD mythology and Adam and Aisha's, like, role and everything. Um, I don't think, it doesn't sound like they morph. It would be cool if, if Adam morphed at least um, into something. I don't know about uh, who the Green Ranger is going to be unless that's them before they get shrunk. I guess I'm going to assume that. I, I, now that I say that, I don't know why I was wondering that. Um, something I hope they would touch on is I'm curious to get like a little tiny like exposition about Aisha because I feel her exit was really tiny whiny and at least people questioning. Except from season three, well minus the crappy alien rangers, did not make any sense if you send her into Africa to give the Zero Crystal to Tyrion so she can come to Angel Grove, California as an adult. Like that pretty much made zero sense to me because why would you even do that? You could have at least give her a different plot than to send her into Africa. Like, who came up with that dumb idea? I'm also curious to know how did Aisha come back to the United States and all the way to New Zealand to work for the SBA or the Space Patrol Alpha? I wanna know how did she come back as an adult? I mean, we've seen her as an adult in Made It More for Alien Rangers. Exit made no sense at all. I hate the Alien Rangers so much. Like, I'm sorry, y'all, I just do. She was never a Ranger, but she was. I mean, she was, but like, I don't know. It, it is confusing when you think about it because the way like Tanya just aged up, like she was always there. It was timey-wimey confusing. I don't expect them to like pull out the chart and explain to me all the ins and outs of the timey-wimey stuff, but just something that sort of, well, explain it a little bit. Just so I know what's going on, because I'm kind of curious about that now that I think about that. But yeah, this overall sounds pretty decent to me. It's kind of one of those things where I'm sure it's going to be even better when you actually get to see it. And I'm sure there's little details and stuff that are going to be uh, rewarding to see that aren't in there. And I, again, most of all, I do like the connections to Cosmic Fury. I think it's not only smart for the synergy of the storytelling, yeah. but a good way to inspire people to check out the special. But uh, I will keep you guys up. Right, if y'all want the original video, the link will be in the description. So about what I said about certain things I don't believe about the leaks and certain things I do believe. I do believe about the training plot, her teleporting to Rita Repulsa's palace to fight her and die in battle while fighting this robo version of the character. I believe the part of Kimberly and Tommy making an appearance, well, like small cameo appearances through the viewing globe. Mimi is from, from the 90s show. Like, if this is the way of honoring both JDF and 
three train. I mean, I don't know what to believe though. Unless we watch the show, then I think we'll have a clear understanding of how they handle both JDF and Three Trains tribute to the show, to the special. Because both of them are the most key elements of the team. But as far as like them making a cameo appearances, I don't believe that. Oh, like I said, if y'all enjoy my reaction, um, let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, original video will be in, well, down below. So yeah, I'ma highlight y'all, peace out.